Hello, peoples, and welcome back to Chaotic Mayhem. Today, we shall begin a grand adventure as a wizard in a faraway land. I don't know. I gotta pick stuff because I had to break stuff in order for stuff to work. Yay. Okay. As you can see, we're in the middle of making a character. I was trying to finish before the music ended, but unfortunately that has not happened. So now I get to finish making my character real quick. So if you'll pardon me, I try to finish character creation. I really should have just made one before I started. That probably would have been the wisest option. That'll work. That was quite something. I mean, I am indeed a student. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing we'll to be concerned about. All right, we are going to name him Alpha. Okay, just to mess with people. Uh, yeah, we'll do balanced gameplay. Do what, Bobby? New one? What? 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 Believe... Sure, we'll go with it. We'll survive. <clears throat> and so we begin. And I'll shut up now, because this is like a giant long cutscene. Oh, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Hi, Nev. Uh, I'm gonna go back to being muted to the giant cutscene. Oh, well, never mind. This is the giant long intro, but hi, Nev. And Haley, and Zoe, and Wiz, and Bobby, of course. I forgot to say. I forgot to purposely hide everyone. Hi. Um, it's gonna back to a cutscene here in a second, so I'm gonna go back to being muted. Glad I caught you 
before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. H how did you wait? We did. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit i would but stay close we've no idea who created this port key or why okay hi ruin welcome i forgot i was doing multi-streams <laughs> wow that's retarded i forget it doesn't load youtube chat in multi-stream for some reason uh, hold on.
So pull. Need four options. Which half should I choose? Uh, Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. And Slytherin. I believe the spellings are all correct on those. Is that going? There we go. Well, hi, Falls. Okay, that can go away. Do 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 do. No delay. Oh no! What did you pick? <laughs> <laughs> Farther from London than the carriage uh, travel. That's Is crazy. So, those ruins. Do you think the portkey was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that portkey to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yay. We get to explore. Mind your step. Oh, you mind yours, old man. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the portkey. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Another way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Really? Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. <laughs> That was fun. Excellent. Ooh, use your camera. I have played before game. I don't know why you're treating me like I'm absolutely new player. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one was improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. There you go. Okay, you go that way? I go this way. Thank you. Because I want the chest. I'm rich. I have 42 coins. We're close now. It's just ahead. 
Really? Like I can't see that myself. <laughs> Steady yourself. Repair. That on the other part of the path, old man. Almost there. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, great. Something out of place. That's specific. Oh, thank you, minimap. I'm busy. I have terror and carnage to wreak. Apparently, Pulse wants us to join Slytherin. Slytherin. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Any more mm. people to vote in that poll? I know it's 50-50. It's gotta go one way or the other, preferably. Tell your friends to vote in the poll. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Can just tell people to come vote and poll and then go away. <laughs> you know, thank you. I don't even know what breaking this is doing for me. I find it enjoyable. Smash pottery! That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Run, old man. We're breaking into the bank. Breaking into the bank, boy. someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room <laughs> i don't see anything <laughs> there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in merlin's name godric's heart where are we i don't believe it Ah, yes. The sleeping numbskull. Bobby, is that an alt account? Why can't I see my own poll on mobile? That's just stupid. Wake up! We're robbing the bank! Hello? Search your engines. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> What you're saying is, Bobby, you double voted. <laughs> Bro needs to clip his fingernails. Visiting back. Vote number twelve, I presume. Precisely. 
<laughs> the key. Hmm? The white pork key. Oh, yes, of course. Old man's losing his edge. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Well, thank you. So generous. Uh, keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> what if I do? What if I don't want all my fingers? How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Ooh, those sound good, Bobby. Or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? Before washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Thirteen. Why did you tell him twelve? On your way. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. <laughs> We're locked in. <laughs> Still luck. Professor? <laughs> That was certainly unexpected. Uh, hey, what thanks, think? Rowan. There must be something here. No. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. Oh, joy. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, I forgot. This is how we learn stuff in this game. Uh, 
have not played this in like oh my gosh about a year Rebellion. there i saw something move a bit closer and try again there's a door a door well that's a start there's that symbol again i don't suppose you see a way to i do professor that symbol has the same glow as the one i saw on the port key container if what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Yay. The way. Why am I leading? He's, he's the superior. Lumos. Oh, I love it. I like that one. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Always a test. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Not like I could do one anyway. It's all you, dude. Come on, teach me. Teach me that one. Teach me Lumos. I want to be able to see in the dark. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. On the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Really? Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Indeed. Ah! Great, which keys this? Oh, okay. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Yes, the security forces. Look out! It's a great. Be stuck here. This guy doesn't stop killing all of them. I know. I saw it. The old man's just killing them all. Stupefy. So much for that. Man Professor. disappeared. R Professor Big. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? To the chest, obviously. What's happening? 
the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. The chest, young Lou. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. We can deal with the glow later. Chests are Rebellion. for it now. Lumos. Here we go again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Potato! Stoop to one! Stoop to one! Ah, I'm protected way too early. far we're winning because we haven't done anything yet get a break Rebellion. oh I'm just dumb Lose. okay I was like why is it still dark Ooh, a door. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't see any more. A chest over here. Isn't there another one in here? Yeah, there is. It's across the way. Okay. I have no idea what I've got going tomorrow, Bobby. Honestly, I'm unsure. Nothing planned, but who knows? Something could come up. Ooh, welcome, Air Star. Who's gonna die now? Oh, look, uh, it's the professor. How did you? Yes, Harry Potter stuff. What is this place? I don't know. The vault. But I found this. Obviously. The basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Now you're gonna pour it all out. <laughs> Follow my lead. I probably didn't make them taller. I have to bend over as far. Place. The 
Porky is well hidden? Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Yay. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygone be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Sorting ceremony? Oh dear. This means somebody needs to break that dang tie.
mean, honestly, Bobby, in regards to the game, nah, doesn't matter. Game set like ridiculously far before the the films. Problem is, we now have a tie on the oh, houses again. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, <laughs> and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I don't remember it looking this gloomy before. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. What a mass to be sorted. Thank you Welcome. very much. You're just in time. Have a seat. I think it's supposed to be getting... Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? No. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Oh no. Oh shoot. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Why is it automatically picking that? What the f No. That wasn't even something somebody picked. Oh, never mind. We aren't tied. Everybody wants Gryffindor. <sighs> Boy, I thought we had a 50-50, like, split between two. Now I've pinged everyone in Discord for no reason. That's funny. Okay, so we need Gryffindor. <laughs> oh, no. Right, I'm going to end this poll. I'm going to start a second poll. Yay. Or nay. Or Gryffindor.
All right, I need people who are still here to vote again, if you would. 100% yay. Where'd everybody go? Come on, I need people to vote on these things. All right, so, all right, we're just gonna go with that. We're going, we're gonna go Gryffindor then. Daring, bravery, and chivalry. Is this seriously a Y? G R Y? It probably is. Oh yeah, it is. I can read this. I can read this. <laughs> I'm dumb. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Absolutely. Solo runner all the way. Better be Gryffindor! Why, Davatron? Um, a lot of the quests are the same, Bobby, oh, but there are specific house thing. quests. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, <laughs> but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Bro, is just rude. As I was saying, I'm Professor <laughs> Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. <laughs> as stupid headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Well, that's true. Weasley is the um, head of Gryffindor. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? Chubby. <laughs> the password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. Ah, Ravenclaw was nicer. Had a riddle. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I should be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Yeah, that's that's fair. I think it goes on sale semi-often though, doesn't it? It's been on sale a few times, I've seen. Pretty sure I've seen it on sale. Looks like everyone's gone. Yeah, it goes on sale every once them. in a while. <clears throat> yes, but again, Bobby, um, different houses have different house quests, so a lot of the main quests will be the same and side quests and stuff, but there are specific quests for each house from each house members and stuff i think i to figure out where i'm going but yeah also for those of you who are here i have two characters on this game i have a ravenclaw and i went the wrong way uh ironically i have another gryffindor character just so wow. people know i have played this a little bit before Never finished the game, ironically. 
chest. Ow. Stupid things locked. You got something to say? I could crush you too like a bug. Anyway. <laughs> now that I've successfully threatened them. Oh, I don't unlock that. That unlocks later. Okay. Yeah, I can... I remember. I can, uh... I can ping you or send you a DM Air Star. I know, right? Oh, it must be strange starting as a fifth year. I stand right next to them in their faces and they don't say nothing. Cowards! That girl thinks she can get away with it. It's still not working. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. <laughs> The drastic the change in tone. The ceremony last evening made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Excuse me? S teeth don't have skin. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Why don't you just get good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what should we say? Top, middle, or bottom? I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Perhaps you need to practice a bit more. Your casting needs work. I'm gonna go middle. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. <laughs> I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Uh, top? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the outcome, if there is a difference in outcome. Other than different sub-dialogue. Um, Bobby, I personally wouldn't recommend Elder Scrolls Online. It's... It's not the greatest thing in the world. <clears throat> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. Sixth. And even then, <laughs> many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead All of right, it. see you, Star. Have a good one. Trying to remember to catch you tomorrow. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say... Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> That's... <laughs> How do you mess up so badly? That's too well, funny. good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I will. I intend to bring down the entire castle. Thank you very much. I hope a professor catches her this time. She gets bolder. every year. Professor could arrive any moment. You'll like it. Trust me. Sure, you don't want so to try Beasley. it? So easily. Brewed it myself. That's the problem. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Ooh. Mm. 
Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. <laughs> but they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Maybe you just ain't got the skills! Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Um, I assume you're referring to Elder Scrolls Online, Bobby? It's not per se bad, it, it's... For reference, compared to like Fallout 76, it is horrifically terrible graphically. It's like ridiculously lacking in the graphics department. And there's a lot going on in that game, like a ridiculous amount of stuff. Uh, it's way too easy to get lost and confused in that game. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. Perfectly <laughs> safe. Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon. Wait till I master my shadow clones. Wait, wrong thing. Still, it'd be funny. Look at that. Shadow clones and Hogwarts would be hilarious. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't Crikey. believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Definitely a anyway, bunch of Brits. You've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Well, thank you all. Very generous. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. That's because you people have nothing better to do. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scare the tower to see something incredible here. Why did that come off wrong? Maybe I'm crazy. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. All right. Peace. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Why, thank you. I can't believe you have to crawl through here. That's so dumb. Good morning. I trust you're ready for Good your first morning. day Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. No, we're Make not. the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your it's a lie. situation, you come back. joining us as a fifth year, 
You will need to catch up with your classmates and not <sighs> fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Yay. <laughs> here you are. My own special book. Ah, so what that explains it? all the stuff it you can find around the map. Guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. I'm waiting. Start walking, would you? Thank you. This way. Really? Not like you're walking back into the common room. Goof. Yeah, goof. Who do you think I am, stupid professor? Crazy. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Really? Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio. Revelio. And we'll see what the guide says. isn't it <laughs> keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle rebellion it's a cute cat no time to waste you've classes to attend i have a chest to get opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall yep yep Black Central Hall, that's not it. Ah, there it is. Why, hard to believe I've been live for an hour. I feel like I haven't done much in this game. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I can never get enough of the castle. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I hadn't been feeling myself at all. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and twenty percent finally Dark said nay. That's funny. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Probably false or somebody. 
You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Mm. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. As long as it's not what's his name. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thanks, George. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. Not really. I mean, yeah, not really. Yay, nay, tell her, maybe. Should we tell her? Should we not? Tell her, yes, no, maybe, yay, no, no, yes, no. I'm fine, I'm gonna do the top one. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? <laughs> well, I presume <laughs> Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. <laughs> Very well. Enough chin chat. <laughs> I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Indeed. Yeah, where are we going? Open the door! Revelio. Just a moment. What if I should just run the whole thing at medium? I just broke stuff. Unsure. Open the door. Pardon me. I have places to be. Rebellion. <laughs> ghost chasing another ghost. That's funny. Sure, we're not in there. Oh, we gotta go up into the next floor, that's why. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Rebellion. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I adore the hammers, uh. okay? They're a bit damp, but ever so picturesque. Uh. Lumos. Take that loser. I have to sit next to a Here. Ravenclaw. Behind you. There is an open Oh never mind. Here. Another fellow Gryffindor. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the 
color change, and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a Stole toll on you the all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Here we go. Well, that's right, we gotta learn this. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Really? Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Yay. Outside. In the weather. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Here we go. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The key is to pull the sphere as fast. Very good. Are we doing all of them? Splendid. Excellent control there. Ah, I win. To Gryffindor. Well, Very good. Certainly no sport in playing without some friendly it's competition. Perfect. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Oh boy. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I will become Hokage. Watch the. Too far. Wow. 
Well done. We're gonna tie. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what you're cheering for. You're gonna lose. All right. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. Akio, I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite no. well. No. Don't lose your composure. <laughs> I screwed it up. She was in the bloody way. Why was she in the way of the freaking camera? Let us make this a bit Not more interesting, fair. shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Bah. This round settles it all. Okay, so I gotta what? win this round. further yeah very good It's not fair. How it's done. I win. A perfect score. Remarkable. Ha! I knew I was gonna be Hokage someday. <laughs> I totally won that. I messed up the first round, but I won the second, so we're doing good. Did better without obstacle blocks than I did without them. That's funny. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. That's it. Bruh. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. <laughs> I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. 
It's always felt like home. Interesting. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. What if I want to keep him waiting? Of course. You can use Akio. A word, if you would. If you're so in You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outcome yeah. competition wasn't exactly yeah, the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Splendid. Revelio. My brother learned the summoning charm. It was constant Accio this, Accio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A bit mad. <laughs> Rebellion. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident <laughs> in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Yeah. What are you doing? Rebellion. And then the werewolves join the goblins Goblin, in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the the Minister for Magic was Albert. Four, twelve. No, <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbye. Zero, one. I could cheer for the boys. Says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. I have to remember how to do this <sighs> thing. Wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Black, but you're all in trouble Five. with Professor Black. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven. Seven. And three and zero, so we need two. No? Interesting. Wait. Five, twelve, seven, yeah. Oh, two, four, six, it's eight. That's right, it's number eight because it starts at zero. <laughs> That's funny. What do you what do you mean, Bobby? How to do what? Revelio. Do the door thing. Cat, kitty cat. That's part of the game.
Okay, so the door thing is... Bottom one is zero. I think that one is... Nine? Two, four, six, eight, ten. What yeah, so that's... That that's nine, so it goes zero to nine. So, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and all the way around to this bottom one, which is nine. Each one of these is set at an offset, so this one on this side did zero, two, four, six, eight, and then this side will do your... So this side does even, that side does odd. So if I can find another door, I can show you how this works. I have to find another door, though. I don't remember where all the doors are at. Rebellion. Ooh, we're starting to lag a little bit. I may have to cut short here in a bit. Because my computer's getting quite hot. Yeah. Computer's quite warm. Yeah, Danny is probably Rebellion. really good at this. Um, I bet she couldn't make it. She's probably sleeping or something. I don't know if she's working tomorrow or not. Otherwise, I'm sure she would have been here. Where is another one of those doors? There shouldn't be one up here. Think. I've been collecting Rebellion. Oh, there's a chest. There goes Peeves. to see Bobby I might end up being done because it's gonna be on the late ish side Lumos oh that takes a fire spell or fire cast okay so there's not a door up here okay I'm going to Drop everything to medium. Let's see how that does. Things definitely looking a little bit worse. It's okay. That means I can stream longer than like two hours before my computer starts overheating and lagging like crazy. Although. I guess I could close some stuff. That could help. It's a rumor. That's for the room. Um, rumor. Room of requirements is in that hallway. One passed me a note with a red heart on it. I went bright red. It's the bathroom. Chest. Is this door open? Rebellion. Don't we need to be in here? What's this room then? Hmm. I don't know. Uh. Uh. 
game so stupid it won't even let you jump over the balcony. One of my pet peeves about this game, you can't jump over things like that. Rebellion. If I recall correctly, there is a door around here somewhere. Then again, I could be thinking of a different staircase. Oh, my exams! <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a T. <laughs> Rebellious! You're funny, hombre. What's a quest in the future, Bobby? The doors? Okay, here we go. Here's a door. Okay. So, basically what this is, Bobby. This is a giant math equation. Well, I say giant. It's a small math equation. Oh, the one's upstairs, I think. So, basically, you'll have the symbols. So the weird tree looking one, or the hydra looking one, that is a nine. Our center number is the total between all three points. So we have nine, we have the crab thing, which is one, two, three, four, five. So that's 12. So our answer should be three. That's two. 2, 11, 13, 8, we need 8. Okay, so this one, so our 21 is 8, because 11 plus 2, which is the one that's on the door, and then the second, third one up is 2. That's 13. 13 minus 21 is 8. 8 is the spider over here, so that makes this a spider here. For other one, we have nine plus five. Yeah, five. It's 14. So we need three, which is the triple dragon. And our other one should be up here. I don't think that'll make very good patterns. One, three. Whoa. Uh. Right, and then we come back down here. Ta -da. So essentially what all those doors is, is a math equation. Rebellious. Which I find to be quite fun. And it's good mental math, for me at least. For some people it may be worthwhile to write it down. really have made a mess of things. Oh, not you again. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Mm -hmm. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. Uh -huh. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. 
I'd collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Oh boy. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Which quest, Bobby? Which one don't you like? I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, this one? This one's not too bad. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, where are these other ones at? Rebellion. Oh, wrong one. Akio. Rebellion. Akio. No way. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Actually snatch that one out of the air like that. Because I'm uh... Bend the globe. Leave the library. What hacks? I don't know what you're talking about, Bobby. That was all lack of talent. Pure, pure lack of skills. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Latin? Thank goodness some people. Trustworthy. They wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, 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 sure. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, yes. a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Uh huh. If you say so. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Use your brain. If I have the time, I may look. 
Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. If I can just stop that I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And then it just disappears. That's Let's funny. Nora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting telling. and that then I cast Lumos mind. to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yeah, can't help stupid, I guess. Rebellion. Yeah, can't fix stupid. Is that dinging off us? Assuming it was that. Rebellion. Oh, look, here's another puzzle door. Yeah, see, here you go, Bobby. This just tells you zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And look, looks like somebody was trying to figure it out. All right, so we have two plus three is five, minus nine is four, so that's even. So we need the owl. Oh, that's odd. I'm dumb. There we go. Then we have, we're in need of three. There's one. Oh, it even tells you, okay, so when it goes all the way through, this one starts out as a single question mark, and another one starts out as double. Double tells you what equation it goes to. I remember now. All right, anyway, we need three. Rebellion. Numerology. Interesting. All right, so we have six plus five, 11, so we need six. Salamander. Nah, you don't need me, Bobby. You can do this. That's two, four, six, seven. We need one. Ta da! Rebellion. We have five, six, eleven. We need four. Can be right. Five, six, 
It's 11, yeah. Zero, two, four. What is right? Eh, that's not that bad. As I said, you, you may just have to write it down. <coughs> <coughs> so 13 plus zero, so we need five. That would be the crab looking thing. Ta -da. Rebellio. Well, it's it near. Hey, that's spazzing out. That's is that Gandalf? Nope, old lady. That is Gandalf. I'm joking. Should have done that. Should have made a character and called him Gandalf the Grey. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, yeah, sure. Revelio. Rebellion. Ah, you sir. We're here. Oh, this goes outside. Where does this go? Lumos. Pretty sure this is an upstairs room. <coughs> yep. Hello. Goodbye. I was about to say, did the thing not go where we're supposed to? So we have another puzzle door around here somewhere. There it is. We have one plus eight, nine, four. There it is. Zero, two, four. Thirteen. And three is sixteen. Minus 21 is 5. 1, 3, 5. <clears throat> Rebellion. Oh, oh we're back adventure. here. Oh, never mind. A piece of paper gone. Oh yeah, can't go in there. Another cat. This is not a What in the world was that noise? Oh. This is probably back down to the common room then. Revelio.
Uh, I'm pretty sure we need to pulse up for that. Rebellion. Should probably just go to the um, dark arts class. Where's that at? Ironically, it's kind of in the direction that we're heading. <coughs> Crazy dude. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, someone prodded a nimble as nimble finger at me. Hmm, I don't know where it's dinging. Close me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then after this, we'll probably call it <laughs> for tonight. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. <coughs> no doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Leviosa, Leviosa. Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. Why do I have to go? Why doesn't somebody else go first? Let us begin with the basic all be cost. weak. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. well done. Levioso. 
Very good, but the best way to practice is by. Oh, they put this on the switch. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. You do only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. What about Stupefy? This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I do enjoy a life of duel. Protego, Stupefy. Oh, he never had a chance. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. You never even touched me. Pathetic. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Yes. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Yes, ma'am. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Cla I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Who are you? Slytherin? Pathetic. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Really? Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. You not anymore. All the boys in my classes. You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Eh, pathetic. You're all pathetic weaklings. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. <laughs> Sebastian Sallow, by the way. These guys are Didn't fifth years. The new They're so puny. So deft with a wand. Pathetic. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Batman without magic could take them all out. It's astoundingly terrible. Anyway. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh boy. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Oh Excellent. no. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. Interesting. Sure Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was Very sheer Very interesting. Actually, look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. You're all pathetic. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Then you're a fool. And fools perish. It's the evening tide. My current quest. Weasley after class. Well, that's true, I do have new gear, don't I? Ok, 
how do I change the look? Do I do that out here? I do. Spectacles. Just run around with. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll keep those for now. the way it is. Eh, I'll stick with this one. that one for now. I was just under this, was I not? Yeah, so basically this is all you have to keep in mind, Bobby. When you're doing those doors, was that chart? Anyway, I think that is going to be it for today. I'm going to go back to the common room once I find it. There it is. Honestly, wouldn't have mind playing one of the other houses, but that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and resave it right here. It says I've only been playing for an hour. Rubbish. Anyway. We are going to be ending here. I'm actually kind of just glad it decided to work for once. Because I was going to do this a few days ago and it didn't work. But, uh, that's okay. Anywho's. I'd like to thank everyone for showing up, hanging out enjoying stream at least i hope you enjoyed stream if you didn't it's your own fault anyways we'll catch you all the next live stream probably not video because i hate doing videos nowadays because i really hate editing although i've never edited any of my current videos anyway anyway we'll catch you guys next time bye